I've been using the Optoma UHD 50X for three days now, and it's been fantastic. This is my second projector, and I'm really impressed. The fan is surprisingly quiet, even after the projector's been running for hours. It's not very heavy, so mounting it close to the ceiling was a breeze with just a 5-inch down tube. Some people have talked about light leakage, and yes, there is a bit, but it doesn't bother me at all. The picture quality for games and movies is amazing. So smooth and vibrant. The bulb is super bright, so the black levels aren't as deep as they could be, but that's just something you get with projectors. There's an option to lower the bulb brightness to save on bulb life, but I haven't tried that yet to see how it affects the picture. My only real complaint is the remote. It looks a bit cheap, white, oddly shaped, and very light. It just feels a little flimsy. But since I only use the power on and power off buttons, it's not a huge deal. Overall, I'm really happy with the projector, despite the remote issue. For the price I got the LG HU80KA at, thanks to a like new warehouse deal, I think it was a great buy. If I had paid full price, though, I might have been disappointed with how deep the blacks are and the artifacting in the clouds and backgrounds. The picture is really sharp overall, and the colors seem accurate to me. I went with this model because it's a laser projector, so no lamp replacement needed, and it's easy to move around. I've got it set up on a shelf between our couches, and it was super simple to get going. My big issue, and the reason it lost a star, is that there's no horizontal shift or keystone adjustment. If you're not directly in front of the screen, it's pretty much useless. This was a bummer because it messed up my original setup plan. I know digital keystoning can mess with resolution, but no horizontal keystone at all seems like a bit of an oversight. I get that there's no lens shift with the mirror setup, but no keystoning? Also, you can't turn off HDR without messing with resolution and other settings. This projector, like most lasers, has trouble with HDR, making Netflix and Amazon Prime videos look too dark. YouTube looked great, but any native HDR content was awful. Turning off HDR, even with some other losses, made a huge difference in brightness. Overall, while I can't afford a giant 100-inch TV, this projector does the job and I'm pretty satisfied with it. The Sony VPL VW295ES has amazing colors and 4K quality. The blacks aren't as deep as on JVC projectors, but they're still clear even with some ambient light. The vibrant colors are a big plus and make the slight black depth issue worth it. My professional installer said it best, most movies and TV shows are filmed with Sony 4K cameras, so why wouldn't you use a Sony 4K projector for that perfect cinematic experience? I'm using this with a 120-inch SI Black Diamond Zero Edge screen, and it really boosts the color and HDR impact. Watching HDR content on Netflix and Disney Plus is incredible. Even though it's on the pricier side, it's worth every penny. It's definitely better than cheaper brands like Optoma or LG. I've had it for seven months, and there's no fan noise problem. Friends and family, including those with their own home theaters, have been impressed and say it's raised the bar for home viewing. I highly recommend this projector. We built a 12 by 18 foot dedicated media room, and the Bank HT3550 is absolutely stunning on a 142 inch white screen from Silver Studio. The brightness, crystal clear sharpness, and overall quality are amazing. The fast mode auto detects when switching to HDMI input with a PS5, and the gameplay is excellent. Gran Turismo and Elden Ring look beautiful, and Madden Football is very playable too. There's only a slight hint of input lag compared to a gaming monitor, but for movies and story-driven games, this projector is a great choice. The only downside is that I haven't figured out how to use the LAN internet port, and the Android TV seems to rely only on Wi-Fi. I highly recommend this projector and will be watching for future developments from Bink. It took us many tries to settle on the right projector for our home theater. I tried at least eight different projectors from several of the higher-end lower-priced models, like the Bink and Optoma variety, to the Sony models that were much more expensive. Factors considered were my throw range, around 17 or 18 feet from the screen, to a screen size of 120 inches, 
to my room which eliminates all ambient light. With all of these other models, I just could not find a picture that satisfied me. The closest I got was the Optoma ZH406, which produced a good picture, even when I tested it in a bright room, but would not work with my throw range. I finally got professional help from an AV consultant, who recommended this Epson model, which was above what I initially wanted to spend, but came with great reviews. This projector is incredible. It is true 4K and produces a bright, vibrant true 4K picture. Everything from movies to sports looks incredible on the screen. It is a large projector and heavy, so you want to have it professionally and permanently mounted, but this is the projector you get for a theater room, not the backyard. It also is a projector you will love for years to come. So worthy of the investment,